What's up everybody, Animation Entertainment's AE Dude here, and I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on your laptop if your battery isn't charging. So as you can see, it says my battery is charging, but it's really not. There's a bad battery in my laptop right now, and as soon as I unplug the charger, this is going to drop down to zero so fast. And it actually doesn't even go past 20%, so I do have a good battery that I do use. But for the sake of this video, I swapped it out with this bad battery so I can show you guys how to do this. Okay, the first step you want to do is download and open the BIOS file package. Okay, it says your battery has to be above 10% to start this. But we're going to bypass this. What you want to do to bypass is search up device manager. In the search bar, go to the battery section and disable both the Microsoft AC adapter and the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. Okay. What this does is it disables your computer from detecting that you have a AC adapter plugged in and a battery plugged in as well that's below 10%. Click OK. Okay, now what you want to do is re enable the AC adapter. Okay, it asks you to confirm that you want to update your BIOS. Click Yes. It gives you some warnings of what not to do. Okay, now it tells you the AC adapter and the battery must be plugged in. It's still not working, so you're going to re-enable the battery as well. Click OK. Now it has to be above 10% again, so you want to bypass it again. Bye. Disabling the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. And there you go. It's updating and it's gonna flash the BIOS and update the BIOS simultaneously. And that's how you do it. Now, you do have to wait because you do need to enable both of those options again. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we have the alien way trying to harness all that new power that's coming in from the BIOS flash. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. I don't know why the fans speed up like that, but it's normal for it to do that. Okay, the flash was successful. There we go. Alright, so just sign into your computer. And we're signed in. Okay, see the battery is still not detected. Right there. So, go back to device manager. And we re-enable the Microsoft ACPI compliant control method battery. And the battery is detected again. And it's still not above 10%. So this was successful. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this helped you out, be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon. And give this video a like if you want to see more relating content. Take care. Be safe out there, everyone. And don't forget... All the praise and glory be to Jesus Christ. Amen.